Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to play, uh, we're going to do a two piano version here of a piece that my father wrote in 1966. This is called The Show Me Rag. For the state motto of Missouri, The Show Me State. Thank you. 
I've had many duet partners over the years, but the, it all comes back to, the, I believe, the first partner, uh, Nan Bostick. Very, very good friend of mine and a lot of fun to perform with. Here she comes, Nan Bostick. I'm sure I'm not your first partner. There was Elliot Adams and there was Eric Marchese, but I may have been your first female partner. Okay. And I'm sorry, I was, I forgot to look at my schedule and I was just getting in the shower. I didn't know what my hair looks like. Do I have the mask we're playing? We're playing the bean whistle rag. Oh. Oh, no, it's a good thing I announced it, you didn't know. <laughs> this is one of my rags I wrote in the 70s when I discovered my great uncle's name was on the cover of Original Rags, and I decided I needed to know what a rag was. So I analyzed Maple Leaf Rag and I came up with this. Oh! <laughs>
actually. We're going to, I'm going to sing a song, but I, at one stage I'm going to join Dick on the other piano. And this is the first song that we ever played together when we met in 1966, wasn't it, Dick? Your birthday party in Tarzan. What was it? No, it was Northridge. And uh, this is an old song that, um, and I think Dick introduced me to the song. It's called I'm Certainly Living the Ragtime Life, written by Jefferson and Roberts in about 1900. So, uh, cast your minds back to 1966. I actually was in rock and roll, as you know, at that time. And Dick took me off, took me away from the path. I was in the top ten. And I started seeing the signs of my, my career as long. Well, it's not financial, but artistically up. So here it is, not too far. So I said, well, so back then, that's what I had here, you see. And you had a career, but it's like this. This is amazing stuff. All right, Dickie, not too far, because I'm not as young as I was. <laughs> Than I can stand. Ever since rag time has struck the land, ever so like it all of my days, everybody's got the rag time craze. So it just as long as I could. Now I got it, I got it good. First I didn't understand, you see, but now you can't stop me. I got a rag time dog and a rag time cat, a rag time piano and my rag time flat. I'm wearing rag time clothes. From head to shoe with a bull. I read a paper for the right time news. I've got right time habits. I talk that way. I sleep in right time and rag all day. I've got a right time troubles with my right time wife on me. I'm certainly living a right time. Big church meeting on a Sunday morn. Hymns were in rag time, sure as no born. Syncopation is in every song. Clocks and watches are running wrong. Cakewalk music, it fills the aisle. You can't escape it because it's everywhere. First I didn't understand, you see, but now you can't stop me. I got a rag a time with a rag and a rag a time with a cat. Ladies and gentlemen. 
gentlemen, Alex and I are delighted to be here. And we are going to play a couple of numbers for you. The first one is a song from 1925. Is that correct, Alex? Yes. Okay, who published it? Remick. Am I right? I win something. Let it be money, please. And we are going to be singing a, a, a duetting on a song called Don't Bring Lulu, which is a special request by President Tess of the Ragtime Society, Miss Bonnie Gasson. <laughs> Saxon. Now he calls, I've got troubles. 
Brian and Andrews, and we hear my voice more and more. Okay, um, I don't know if they understand uh, anybody who talk like what I do, but we'll do our best. Uh, we're going to bring back... Uh, Who's next? Those two guys. We're going to bring back uh, a couple of fine musicians, um, Tom Breyer and uh, Frederick Hodges. participating in a very small way in this piano duet, you will be as amazed as I will about, <laughs> about what's about to happen.
so we chose Emily to do, it, to do this part of it. We've only gotten together briefly on this, so uh, each station knows this inside out. But